Hey there everyone, long time no video, but guess who's officially back? In a new area, with a new office. If you guessed me, you are freaking correct. Nice guess, nice guess. Before I get started showing you my new office at my new apartment, I just wanted to say thanks everyone that decided to stick with my dumb ass. Yes, I said dumb ass. Means a lot, everybody. This spot is just temporary. I plan on living here for about seven or eight months, but that's not important. The environment of what I record in is what is important to show you guys in my opinion. Everywhere else in this apartment anyways is unfinished. It's like a mini tornado hit everywhere in this place besides this room. Anyways, I hope you all end up enjoying this office transformation. First things first, I ended up putting a fresh layer of paint in this room. Before I did that though, I protected the carpet with bags, I saved from the grocery store over time, and protected the trim of the wall with tape. Then started the painting process. And let's just say that took a while to finish. Once that was complete though, I cleaned up that mess and started putting together the furniture I got for the room. Well, it was till I found out that I wasn't going to use the first thing I put together from scratch, which was this black bookcase I got for the room. I was like, oh yeah, that looked nice in my office. Turns out I'm deciding to actually use this as a TV stand. I'm going to tilt it on its side and use it like that for a little while. I'll show you the finished product when I end up finishing my living room. Anyways, I also put together a desk which only had a couple pieces I needed to attach because I bought it from a furniture store and it was already built. The workers just took off a few pieces here and there to make sure it would fit into my vehicle. Finally, I got two shelves, one a three shelf bookcase and another a five shelf bookcase. Which these had to be put together from scratch with a manual. I got them from a wall store, otherwise known as Walmart. It took a while to put together, but once it was finally over with, the fun part in my opinion started. Which is organizing how the furniture will go into the room. I tried a few different ways and I ended up finding the one I was most comfortable with. I'll probably end up moving things around in the future though just to keep spicing up my environment I'm recording in. Anyways, on that note, I also got a TV wall hanger so the TV won't have to be on this shelf. Just haven't got around to hanging that up yet. I will make another office update when I do end up, you know, making these few changes just so you all can see the environment I'm creating videos in for you all to enjoy. Who knows, it also may spark an idea for your room. Doesn't necessarily have to be an office setup that you use. I ended up hooking up my recording setup on my desk, of course. My cats, otherwise known as my Ogato, and other essentials needed to power up stuff on the box next to my desk. Which, not to mention, also makes great leverage so the cord from the back of my TV can reach the power surge. Overall, I have upgraded a lot from where I used to be to where I am now. I mean, I used to record with an HD PVR, which don't get me wrong, that's not a bad recording device. But I upgraded to an Elgato, just because it's more simple to use. But at the very beginning of me creating YouTube videos, I was actually creating them with a device called a Dazzle DVC-100, which is pretty much a cheaper way to go, and not to mention, it doesn't have that bad of quality either. Especially if you get the Dazzle HD. I also upgraded my computer screen, which if you guys saw it before, that's how it used to look, and I used to have pretty much a box TV as a computer screen. An old school box TV. And also, speaking of TVs, my TV has also upgraded as well. Just overall, everything has upgraded thanks to you guys. So, big props to you all for, you know, sticking around and help supporting my channel. As you guys can see, you all helped make a pretty drastic change in my life. I mean, overall, everything looks upgraded thanks to you all and I'm trying to get you guys to see how much you actually improved the environment I was living in. It's absolutely insane and I can't thank you all enough. You actually chain reacted me to be able to go back into college as well. So it's just awesome overall how much you all helped improve my life. Even though you guys probably don't realize it, y'all have, trust me. Just gotta try to find the right way to get back to y'all. I just feel like me saying this isn't enough to show you guys how much I'm appreciated by y'all. Even by you just watching this video, statistically is helping me. So hey, thanks for sticking around with my dumbass. Well on that note, speaking of my dumbass, let's get back to my editing chamber where the magic happens, where the videos are created at. That's all I got for now, but to the right of my recording setup, my desk, my computer, and all that, I have my TV, which not to mention was handed off to me for a cheaper price, which the reason is because he's one of my good buddies. So big thanks to that guy, because without him, I would not have this bad boy. So yeah, anyways, on to my five shelf bookcase, which as you guys can see, I have all my collectibles on this. Collectibles, you say, Rifle? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's right, I'm a freak of nature. I have a hobby and I collect collectibles. So what? 
most of this stuff I have on this shelf over time will be worth more and more. It's just like investing in an art painting, except this is different kind of art and may be worth a little less, but still, I find collecting this kind of art more interesting. It suits my interest more, I guess. The first shelf, I have my favorite game character statue, which is Link, except this Link statue is from the Twilight Princess game, which is not my favorite Zelda in the series. My favorite Zelda game is surprisingly Majora's Mask. A lot of people's is Ocarina of Time, which don't get me wrong, that was an amazing game in the franchise. And I beat that as well, not to mention it came before Majora's Mask, so it's more of a classic. But still, the game Majora's Mask is more for me. I seem to get more involved in the mystery of how to collect each mask in the game. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure they actually did a remake here recently, so that's also pretty cool. The second shelf, I have a lot of art statues, because once again, that is what I like to collect. Well, one of the things that I like to invest my money in. The pricey art pieces out of this bunch are the DC collectibles. The Wonder Woman statue is labeled as DC Comics Bombshell. They sell plenty of others besides Wonder Woman, in case you guys are wondering. I've just seen her for a cheaper price at GameStop rather than ordering her online, so I took the deal and bought her then and there. My other valuable statue on this shelf is, of course, the Joker. Which the Joker, in my opinion, is just badass. This art piece even has a real chain connected in his pocket, which that's an awesome aesthetic to add. The details look great on these statues, especially Wonder Woman's tits and ass. I mean, look at the curve details in this statue. These art pieces are labeled bombshell for a reason. Hot damn. But also, as you guys can see, I have some Fallout collectibles as well that I found recently at the Fallout pre-order event at GameStop, so I decided to snag them. You never know the value that could increase on these collectibles, and not to mention you're giving back to what you put a lot of hours in. Say like you put a lot of hours into gaming, well then it's not going to really hurt to give back a little bit of money to some collectibles of your favorite game characters. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Also, in case you were wondering about these mini statues, these are from an old school Dungeon and Dragon board game, and one of these I actually painted myself with my counselor when I was younger after my dad passed away, and I told one of my buddies about this, and he was like, no way, these look professional, and I was like, yeah, I painted that one, he was like, really? No way, that looks professional. In my opinion, it doesn't really look that professional, but yeah, this one right here is what I painted. And the rest were from the counselor. He gave me them at the end of my counseling session. So these have a lot of value to me. Maybe not money wise, but just something I like to hold on to. Wouldn't doubt that it's one of the reasons why I find these, you know, collectible statues so awesome to collect. And like I said before, it's not a bad piece of art to invest in. On my next shelf I have my Xbox One games, controllers, and microphone. I will end up putting my Xbox 360 games up there too. Just haven't gotten around to that yet. They're still in the jungle out there. Oh gosh. Like I said, it's like a mini tornado hit out there. And let's just say it is horrid. You can't even hardly walk. It's crazy. I just haven't gotten around to putting my Xbox 360 games yet on this shelf. But anyways, the next shelf I have has one of my favorite old school systems on it. Which is the Nintendo 64. Another hobby that I have. I actually love collecting these kind of games, gadgets, books for the N64 as well. Anything N64 base, I like to collect and get my hands on. Just because, you know, well, I grew up playing it, and not to mention N64 merchandise is becoming more rare. Which makes sense. 20 to 30 years from now, N64s will be unbelievably rare, and in my opinion, having anything old school will be badass because that's where everything originates from the beginning. So, I'm not saying N64 is from the beginning of the systems, but let's just say we have advanced a lot further than the N64 hype era. Definitely interesting to think about if the N64 merchandise will be pricey 20 years from now. Anyways, as for the last shelf I have is my YouTube plaque case. And inside this case is actually a letter from the vice president of YouTube, which is pretty freaking awesome. I actually got this letter when I reached 100,000 subscribers along with this reward. They also give you another plaque when you hit 1 million subscribers. It's a golden play button. Hopefully one day I hit that number. I know it won't be anytime soon, but when I do hit it, it will literally be a dream come true. Let's just say that much. Which as you guys can see, the 100,000 subscriber play button is right above the desk where I work the magic for these videos for you guys to enjoy and watch. Oh yeah, right above my desk. <laughs>
that's pretty much everything at the bottom shelf. I also have my tripod for my video camera down there. And I'll also put maybe my video camera charger down there. As well as maybe some guidebooks. But that'll be pretty much it that I put at the bottom shelf. But who the heck cares about that? Who the heck cares what goes on the bottom shelf? I just thought I'd throw out some more info for no freaking reason. But yeah, there you have it everyone. This is the environment that I'm currently editing my videos in. And I will keep you updated whenever I upgrade my editing environment or move. Thought this would be a good way to get more engaged with you all. Just recently got a video camera again just for that purpose. To get more engaged with you guys. Because you know you guys are my subscribers and keeping my channel alive. Without you guys my channel would be nothing. By the way before I wrap this up speaking of vlogs. I guess I'll give you guys a brief summary of what these vlogs will be containing. They'll be about interesting topics. Updates within my life. And also I'll be starting Q's and A's. That's been asked many times, will I ever be starting that? And I am starting that. So stay tuned for what the future holds. If you have any questions, you can start now in the comments of this video if you wish. Also, if you have any interesting topics for me to create for vlogs, well, let me know in the comments as well. But this is the main reason why I've been gone for so long, guys, from moving, building, and organizing everything. Not to mention waiting on internet and electricity to get back turned on. But this has been your rifle, and as always, remember to leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. Every like helps. And remember to stay safe out there, think about your future, and don't sleep in pee. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Peace.